I'm going for the Jumbo Bucks. Jumbo Bucks. From the New York Lottery. 15 chances to win up to $3 million. Raw. Honest. Reporting. Anderson Cooper 360. CNN Monday night, 10 Eastern. What's required is a new Declaration of Independence. Not just in our nation, but in our own lives. All aboard! That's the reason I launched my campaign for the presidency nearly two years ago. Let's make sure this election is not the end of what we do to change America, but just the beginning. Let's welcome a couple of generations of incredible musicians. Here in Washington, Pete Wentz, songwriter and musician, a member of the group Fall Out Boy. He'll be performing at the Youth Inaugural Ball. And in Los Angeles, the brilliant Quincy Jones, musician, composer, producer, and humanitarian, author of the complete Quincy Jones, My Journey and Passions. Why aren't you here, Quincy? I was just there last week at the Kennedy Center Honors, and the kids said, told me you get one or the other. <laughs> My family, because they're, they're as excited as I am. Now, Pete, you got a special... I, I, I talked to the producers a couple of times, too, and I didn't really know what was going on, so... Pete, um, you've got a special role. You've got a special... In fact, you're tied in unusual to this because your your parents met through, in a Biden campaign? Uh, yeah, they uh, met working for Biden uh, in 74. And so it's really uh, kind of like... It's, it, it's really cool and special for them. And my dad brings it up a lot of times and it's kind of awkward for me, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, they've been Biden supporters for a long Is time. Is that him? There's a picture of uh, Senator Biden? Biden holding up young Pete Wentz. Who's about the, <laughs> who's about the same height. I'm about the same height as I was. He has not picture. grown, by the way, <laughs> uh, since that picture. You said you would not exist as a human being if it wasn't for Biden. That's true. I think that's a technical truth. My parents would not have met uh, otherwise. Uh, maybe they would have met somewhere else, but I think that uh, Joe Biden is actually the reason my parents uh, first met and fell in love. So. <laughs> Great story. Quincy, Monday is Martin Luther King Day, a national holiday. Tuesday, Barack Obama is sworn in. How does that make you feel? It's what Dr. King says, I have a dream. And I remember the first day I met Dr. King in 1955. He was, I didn't even say Dr. King, he said Martin King. He was at Jackie Robinson's home. And this was the dream. And it's ironic that they are in consecutive days, because I worked with Stevie when he did the first celebration at Kennedy Center. It was uh, amazing. And to be alive to see all this is just, it's beyond miraculous. Now, Pete, what's it like for you? I know you, the youth vote, you got involved, you were involved in this campaign. Yeah, right? absolutely. I think that the interesting thing about it is, is that, uh, Barack was able to, in, in new ways, kind of engage uh, young people who had felt disenfranchised and felt like that they were not being engaged in the past through Twitter or blogs uh, uh, and grassroots organizations, getting people who maybe aren't even of age to vote to actually get out and canvas and get them next time when they can vote. And he was able to actually uh, kind of use that and uh, in, in a new way that I don't think I, I've, I haven't seen a candidate in, in since I've been able to vote be able to do that, do so. And I think that the great thing is that these people aren't jaded. They're excited about politics now. They're excited about what's going on. They're excited about change they believe is going to happen. And now I think it's going to be interesting to see how Obama kind of navigates Washington, whether he's going to be able to kind of still uh, uh, engage those people that were the, the original, you know, the base of uh, the youth vote and, 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 and take those ideas and bring them to Washington and, and send them through. Because I think people expect, have a high expectations now. And you think they will remain involved and interested? I think they're going to remain involved and interested as long as he keeps engaging them and as long as he follows through with the things that he said that he was, you know, he planned to do, his ideas. Uh, Quincy, uh, Pete is a much younger man than you, so you come at the, from different perspectives. I don't, imagine, years. <laughs> I don't imagine you'd ever expect you'd see this, did you? Never in my life, no. Absolutely not. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's astounding, though, and he is really the man to do it, too. He's, uh, I love, because it's, it's great to have a leader that doesn't get crumbled when something bad happens and it doesn't get overjoyed when something good happens. He's, he's a centered leader, which makes me feel very comfortable. A couple of very, platinum records as well. <laughs> a couple of platinum <laughs> records too, Quincy. Do you know, Quincy? A couple of, a couple of what? 
pl couple of platinum records. I'm a big, big fan. So. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Pete. It's an God honor to even be on talking to you via satellite for me. Thank you, man. You Thank know you. of Quincy yes, Jones. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I've, been I've been following you, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're asking uh, viewers to answer this question, so we'll ask it directly of you. Pete, what does the inauguration of Barack Obama directly mean to you? To me, it means that we have uh, a chance to have a new face for America in the world. As a, a, a person who travels the world and sees how we are viewed abroad, I believe that we have a, a, a chance to kind of revitalize what our look is. And obviously it's historical because this is our first African-American president. I think it, it, it's, it's only uh, a greater chance for us to be viewed in a different way as a nation, and I'm stoked on that. What does it mean to you, Quincy? It's it's a, it's the same thing. I almost got a call a call from over a, a two dozen heads of state after he won, and I've been traveling the world for 54 years, a couple of more years more, more than Peter. Uh, but uh, it, it's 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 new hope. It's it's uh, we've been viewed as an isolationist country, and I think that's definitely going to change because he's worldly, he's centered, he's he's cool, he's got all the qualifications I've ever looked for in a leader. By the way, if he appoints the Secretary of the Arts, which I know you favor, would you want that job? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> we, we, well put. We're, putting a, we're putting a summit together that will, that will reinforce that, will, will make it so easy, the best musical minds and schools in America. And it's about time that we uh, have a, minister, a Secretary of the Arts, you know, to represent a country whose music is being uh, utilized as the Esperanto of every country on the planet. I, I signed the petition with my real email address, so don't don't send you me in. Don't petition. don't sell off those email addresses. Qu I, signed, I signed the petition for 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 you. For the, Th thank you, for the Peter. QuincyJones.com. I don't want to end up with a bunch of spam it, mail. <laughs> the, these beautiful people, you know, Jaime Austria and uh, uh, Peter Weitzner, these two guys, they're bass players with the, with the New York Opera. They just took the the. the online thing and it's at in four days there's 140,000 votes I can't believe it's unbelievable wow. the pet petition wow. thank you both very so much Pete we'll see you at the inaugural you. Quincy uh, you'll be there in spirit Quincy Jones uh, and Pete Wentz two traditions you, Re two read my new book Larry <laughs> oh I, I got it home it's tra two traditions in American music when we come back speaking of traditions John Legend and James Taylor don't go away